travels through clear things such as air, water, glass, in straight lines, but sometimes it does funny things on the way through. I'm looking at you, you're looking at me, through an aquarium filled with water. Where do you think my nose is? Well, you probably think it's directly below my finger now, right? Okay, keep that in mind and I'll raise my head and you find that my nose is over here. You were that far out. Why? Because the light coming from my face to your eyes was actually bent when it went from water and glass to the air. That's called refraction. One of the interesting things that light does as it passes through clear things. Here's something else that uh, light does as it passes through clear things. Now you're looking at a candle flame through the aquarium, through the water and the glass. Now I can move it backwards and forwards and you may notice something interesting up above that candle flame, about where my finger is. What can you see there? Yes, you can see a reflection of the candle flame because what's happening here is the light coming from the candle flame is actually bouncing off the undersurface of the water. So the surface of the water inside is acting as almost a perfect mirror. That's called internal reflection and it's very important. Look at this ornament that you saw a little earlier. Those little tubes are actually tubes of glass, cylinders. They act very much like a cylinder of water or a cylinder of solid glass. Water does interesting things passing through cylinders. Take a cardboard cylinder. If I take a little ball of plasticine and let it into one end, it'll almost certainly come out the other. If I roll it through, or if I throw it through so it doesn't hit the sides, or if I make it bounce through so that it bounces backwards and forwards. Whatever you put in there will come out there. Same sort of thing happens with an optical fiber or a tube of glass. The light in this case is going into those little tubes of glass in the center, and then it's being taken to the ends of the optical fibers as little spots of light. Whatever color it was in the center, you see those little specks of color on the end. You might say, well, that's fascinating. But does it have any use? And how long has it been around? Optical fibers have been around for thousands of years. Not those, but these. This is a, a mineral found in deserts in Southern California. It's called eulexite. Looks like a little piece of rock, doesn't it? A whitish color. But have a look at this interesting property. If I put it over the top of the matchbox, you can actually see through the rock. You can see the image. And in fact, it's a bundle of optical fibers. It's nature's optical fibers thousands and thousands of little parallel tubes of clear rock that enable you to see that image. You can even read writing through it as well. Sometimes it's called TV stone because you see an image at the end of it. What about today? How are optical fibers used? I'm glad you asked. Have a look at this big cable drum. It has 500 meters of a very special cable on it. And you guessed it, the cable is a little tube of glass right in the center one little tube of glass. Most of it, most of the black stuff and the blue stuff is plastic protective covering. That is worth tens of thousands of dollars, but it takes a very pure image, video image, from a camera to a video recorder, which may be up to half a kilometer away. And here's another very important use of optical fibers. This device is called a laparoscope, and doctors can use that to find out what's happening inside the abdomen. Small incision is made just near the navel, that's poked in, and the doctor can see what's happening. The only trouble is, sometimes it's very difficult to see because there's no light inside. Here's where the optical fibers come in. This is a bundle of optical fibers. If you look at the end there, you may not be able to see them, but there are dozens and dozens of little optical fibers. And if I put the other end near the lamp, you can see what happens. It's almost as if a light switches on. So what the doctor does is connect one end of this bundle to the laparoscope. That goes in. The other end goes near a light source, special light source, and the doctor can see what's happening inside the abdomen. Here's a videotape which is showing what's happening inside a pregnant woman. You can actually see parts of the ovary, fallopian tubes, and uterus. So optical fibers, fiber optics, enable us to find out lots of things about what's going on inside, and also to help us to communicate more effectively with people outside. Mm -hmm.